water dispenser here. Side is full. Back is pretty full too, actually. From the front. I put these directly in the shred. Not worth for me. Okay. Back to the yard. So whatever I can in. Uh, most of my metal's ready. It's all sitting here. So should have a good load of small stuff. I mean a good load total with all that small stuff I have. This is the pickup I had. Scrap pickup. I don't even know what's even in here. So But he wanted to uh, me to open this, I think this, and he's looking at something. Okay. Those are all brake rotors. spots to put stuff in some stuff in boxes here I want to check out don't know what's in this box with some nails and stuff some monitor so this is a scrap pickup Oh, 
Let's be cast aluminum. All these. Rest of the stone bin. The grass here. Okay. This being aluminum, go in there right away. Okay. This is my heavy heavy metals. It's only a few cents difference, but hey, three cents is better than better, right? Okay, let's look at. Uh, okay, here's a computer. Looks like an old, old computer. Got a RAM stick for sure in there. Okay, here's some electronics and stuff. Some of this stuff I'll just cut up and throw in right away. But uh, I need to get my van unloaded first thing. Priority. I need to clean up some of that mud in there and just jam and stuff up. Okay. So everything was from that pickup. These are all ready for HMS pile. That's so heavy these things. Must have water in some of them. That's water. It's just way too heavy. school rat you see them too often ok 
Okay, let me lower her down. Just a little bit. When am I taking the bottles back today, but just don't know my timeline. Rat's gotta be at least 25 pounds. Pretty heavy. I'll strip that off there. Let me unload some of these things and I'll show you what's in the boxes in a minute. Okay. So, we got metal here. HMS. There's aluminum here. Right here. About that same order. Thought I have room for the sink. Nope. I'll have to dump some of the water out before we dump this. Okay, let's see what's in this box here. tank solid brass find a container Put some stuff in there. Steel. That's aluminum. Heavy gauge. 
crank. Just try to throw in the heavy pedals. That's aluminum, which is, which is clean already. So that will go. Aluminum. Was a good, pretty good pick. Okay, the rest of this stuff is just gonna go directly in. These are really heavy actually. Okay, let me just keep moving uh, stuff. Okay, this here, look at this. A little extra bonus here. So, got two more to unload. Two more to unload. So, it's looking pretty good. <coughs> So I'm going to load all the aluminum in this, in this vehicle here, since it's here already. So I'll unload these two here and then... Okay, it's not on there, two starters. That's in the pickup I got. So you love that bonus. Didn't even notice it. These starters are good weights. Very, very heavy. Never stripped one before, so. Strip it out one day. See, I don't know how picky they're going to be. With different grades of stuff. Last time I dumped it all in one container, which I wouldn't mind doing the same thing again, but let's see what they say.
I think I have a pretty good load. It's a good load, I guess, so. Huh? Should fill it up. Okay, I want to do aluminum first because. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna keep loading. I'm actually gonna take this couple of screws out here. Not the axe out. Okay, get these little clips off. It's a GMC, but uh, I think it's dented. It's all dent dented here, but it's still not that bad. Oh, it has to be way in the bottom here. First of all, hmm. So corroded, maybe plastic, who knows? Sounds like metal. Mm. Try to save it. Okay, get some staples here. I think I mean that might be it. Well, maybe 
maybe I can tackle that ra radiator quickly. I don't know about this thing here. It's like it's aluminum. This is some kind of weird electrostatic type thing, I think. It's actually a heater. A heating element on it actually. See, it's, it's a heating element. Actually, pretty pretty heavy stuff. Actually, Bunch of piano wires, it seems like it's all caught. You can put your hand pretty easy actually, pretty sharp. Okay, that's almost clean. Clean, clean. This is one not there. Okay. Cut the other thing actually. glued ok 
Okay. Cut the last one off, dude. Just a little. Okay, cut her. Gonna cut this piano wire stuff. So tangled here. You seen it? Okay. Maybe either. It's better here. Pretty heavy. It's an ID tag on it. It's a brick off. Almost looks like brass, but probably steel. It's only just a little clip here. Okay. I'll weigh it quickly. Heavy, it's definitely heavy. Not light. I'm rushing to get this to the scrap yard, so last minute things I want to show you guys. Twenty pounds. Okay. Twenty point two. It's heavy. Okay. So all aluminum there. Dirty. This is dirty. Aluminum windings. Stainless steel dirty. This is aluminum. That's clean stainless steel. The rad. Got wire there and I got some zinc and then cast and all that mixed in. Okay, going to scrap yard. We we'll let you know how it pays. Stay tuned. It's off, ready for me to take the wire out. Look at that. Nope, oh, lost a piece. There's no cars, and cars coming nowhere else. And well, this is good. It's nice and heavy. Just come from the scrapyard. We'll show you totals in a second here. Just want to get home. I want to get some of my wheels wheels cut off today, and then maybe I'll put the HMS in here tomorrow. Okay. like sticking something sticking here I don't know what oh, it's all that grit see how it's buckling for a second there's 
something in there jam there's like a security thing that goes in there I think it's a little bent okay I came back from the uh, yard uh, unloaded that stove uh, all my containers unloaded um, I like to cut some tires up there so I can load this up for tomorrow morning and then this way I can uh, dump the HMS in the morning maybe cut some copper possibly and then I like to cut some copper ears off the mortars just the big ones if I get another 20 30 pounds maybe 20 pounds maybe because those are pretty big and they're I think they're pretty heavy anyways what we got here irony aluminum um, grade 4 I'm not sure how that works it's 22 cents a pound that's probably all the irony the car parts and all that um, stainless steel light irony 13 cents a pound which I thought that's pretty really poor but I guess you know it was the pots that had the steel bottoms mainly I thought it'd be a little bit better than that but anyways see you win some lose some but electric mortars 42 pounds 31 cents so all those those motors I took in there, they paid thirty one cents. Uh, you know how the, you know you seen them what they were. So that that's a really good price. Uh, brass auto radiators clean at twenty pounds. My scale said twenty. They said twenty. Dollar ninety eight a pound. So that was like that was like thirty nine dollars and sixty cents. Stainless steel prepared fifty three pounds at fifty six cents a pound. Extruded, um, 59 pounds at 58 cents a pound. Paid a little bit better for extruded this time. It's just weird how extruded is really low now. Aluminum radiators, four four pounds at 51 cents a pound for that rad that I cleaned. Uh, aluminum cast clean, 59 cents a pound at 78 pounds. Old sheet, 150 pounds old sheet at 61 cents. I don't know why the old sheets were more than extruded. Doesn't make sense, but that's what, how they're paying now. Zinc old, clean, at 18 pounds at 49 cents a pound. So, you know, zinc was, yeah, about 50 cents on average, yeah. So, I was going to throw it all in one bin, but they said, let's just separate it. I had to separate it anyway, so it worked out for me, no, no problem. That's why I always keep things separate. So, irony aluminum, I did good because I had that, um... Remember I had that, um, I should have took the mortar off, but I left the mortar, it was, uh, um, uh, like a, kind of like a saw, right? Like a, well, a big aluminum platform, couldn't get it apart, it was just a nightmare, so I said forget it, I'm not going to waste some time. I cleaned one, but the other one was too complicated. It had to have hex bolts and they all were, all were stripped, couldn't get them out. So anyways, 22 cents a pound, so it was okay, and that was 30 pounds I think yeah so it worked out okay so anyways grand total is three hundred and seventy one dollars which is pretty good for that load you seen it with filled my van up three hundred dollars and seventy one cents gotta love it okay you see this there it's a uh, bit of copper oh oh how's this What's holding it? Should just come right off. Why is it so tight? Probably why the guy left it there. So tight. It's amazing how tight that was. Okay. 
but I'll take those other ones off. Same stuff for the same guy. It doesn't want to come out. I have to cut it. They were so tight because of steel. All rusty. This cheap stuff. I don't think that'll be steel. No. This is sells brass. Heavy pound each. Pounder over pound each. Okay, so maybe I can take this one off here. Oh, here. Maybe something like that might work. have to cut it or something okay well might do some tires okay Yeah, that's how, that's how I'm doing it. Seems to work okay.
Once I cut that uh, tire bead, it's okay. Cut or what? It's a tight tire. Tight tire. Maybe it's a little profile or something, that's why. One more to do. Is it a paint tank? Just want to wait. Empty. No water in it. Okay, it's almost 18 pounds. So it's worth about a dollar eighty. So I have probably a hundred hundred of these. So that would be um, be up to eighteen hundred pounds. Actually, that's a valve here. All that came out of there, I want to weigh it. I don't know where I put them. I must have stuck them in there. I think I stuck them over there. So it's good to know. They're 18 pounds almost. I want to weigh these two here. 1.7 pounds. Um, I would say at least about 1,200 pounds. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.